Habitat and Adaptation Habitat is a place where an organism lives. Habitat provides food, shelter and climatic conditions for the organism to live comfortably and multiply its species. Habitat can vary for different organisms. Let us discuss each of these habitats. Generally, habitat is classified into three major types. Terrestrial habitat, aquatic habitat, aerial habitat. Terrestrial habitat. When the substratum that supports the organisms is land, it is called terrestrial habitat. The organisms in this habitat are known as terrestrial or land-dwelling organisms. The physical factors that support life in terrestrial habitat are plentiful supply of oxygen, availability of water, availability of sufficient light and temperature. But it should be remembered that there are a lot of fluctuations in these factors. These factors vary from place to place and season to season. Thus, extreme conditions may exist in a terrestrial habitat. Aquatic Habitat This habitat exists in the medium of water. That is, water is the substratum that supports life. Thus, it is evident that ponds, lakes, rivers and seas are aquatic habitats. The physical factors, though similar to terrestrial habitat, differ in their intensities. The medium of the habitat, water, varies in its content of dissolved salts. The variation is from fresh water to extremely saline conditions in oceans. Only dissolved oxygen in water is available. Light intensity varies according to the depth of the water body. Temperature varies depending on the depth of the water, but extreme fluctuations are rare. Aerial Habitat Here, air or atmosphere is the medium that supports life. All flying animals occupy the aerial habitat, but none of them exclusively live in aerial habitat. Their dwellings may be on trees or ground. Physical factors like oxygen, light and warmth are plentiful in the aerial habitat. Adaptations We have seen that living things are found in different types of habitats with diverse features. Some organisms can thrive in a particular habitat, whereas others thrive in yet another habitat. This ability of organisms to adjust to a given set of living conditions is called adaptation. Adaptations include specific characteristics in structure, physiology, behavior and mode of life. Let us see some simple examples. A fish with its gills, fins and streamlined body is adapted for aquatic life. A bird with its light bones, feathers, wings and streamlined body is adapted for aerial life. Similarly, plants also show various adaptations to suit their habitat. Desert plants like cacti have fleshy stems and thick waxy covering for stems. They do not have leaves. These adaptations prevent loss of water from them. Likewise, water plants show adaptations to float in water. Among all living things, man is highly advanced structurally and physiologically. He is capable of adapting to any conditions in his environment. Adaptations shown by living things can be for short term or for a lifetime. The change of color by chameleons is short term adaptation to escape from enemies. Similarly, house lizards cut off their tails to escape from enemies. Long-term adaptations are permanent for a lifetime.